sanctuary. Well, how about this? A man from Mexico is now accused of smuggling individuals into our northern border. Yes, into Vermont and then found in New Hampshire. Reynaldo Velasco, who shouldn't have even been in the U.S. himself, allegedly transported four people into the United States from the northern border. He has a criminal and immigration record and is currently now in custody awaiting hearings. Let's talk about the border issue and more. We are joined now by Kelly Ayotte, former U.S. Senator for New Hampshire, current candidate for governor there and former attorney general. I want to talk about immigration and also your campaign. Great to see you, Kelly. Great to see you too. Well, I know you were up at the border recently on the northern border, but you know, people are going to look, it's, it's amazing. Now we have Mexican, Mexican folks at the northern border bringing people in. I mean, clearly there's issues and we are porous every which way in our nation. Well, we are. This is a product of the uh, Biden administration's open border policies. And we have seen this on the northern border, a surge of illegal immigrants coming over. And this latest arrest of a Mexican who is trafficking people illegally over our northern border just shows what's happening. And by the way, recently I was up in Pittsburgh, New Hampshire, mm -hmm. uh, with a family on their farm, and uh, they essentially intercepted drug trafficking on their property. They are worried about illegal immigrants coming onto their beautiful farm every single day. So this all goes back to failing to secure yeah. our border. And we're really seeing it here in New Hampshire as well. These are rural areas. I mean, these are farms and these are, I mean, this is touching every community here. Uh, so I, I want to ask you about, you know, your run, your, your campaigning now, you're out talking to folks, you want to be the next governor of New Hampshire. And I did uh, notice some of the headlines, a lot of folks are saying you're running not to be Massachusetts, your border state. Uh, and you tweeted about that, that, you know, we're, we're one election away from becoming Massachusetts. I mean, the governor there is calling in the National Guard for the migrants. And there's also been other issues, of course, um, in Massachusetts as well. Well, when it comes to where to put them, if they're going to put them in schools, they may put them in dorms. Tell us about what you want to do for the folks in New Hampshire if you win and become governor. Well, the reason I said this, Bianca, I said that I fear we're one election away from becoming Massachusetts is because my Democratic opponent in this race, in the governor's race, has been endorsed by the governor of Massachusetts, who supports sanctuary policies, who has actually had to call out the National Guard because there are so many illegal immigrants in Massachusetts. She's asked residents to house illegal immigrants in their homes. So this is not New Hampshire. This is not what New Hampshire wants. And we also in New Hampshire are very different from our neighbors. We have an economic advantage, no income tax, no sales tax. We believe in protecting our constitutional rights, including our Second Amendment rights. So our state has a unique character and its people does as well. And that's why I'm running to make sure that we preserve that character and strengthen it. Yeah, it's a beautiful state, and uh, clearly a lot of the presidential candidates have been spending some time there as well. As we know, it's a very important early voting state, first primary in the nation. Um, I want to talk to you about Biden a little bit, questions about his age, polling showing people don't like uh, his you know, recent handling of our economy. They're worried about things like that. And also coupled with, you know, you talk about, you know, hardworking Americans. We have the United Auto Workers who could possibly go on a strike. Uh, their contract's expiring in days. The president, Sean Fain, is, you know, issuing strong threats about, you know, the possibility. This would cost billions to our nation. Yet here we have Biden talking about being pro-union, Scranton Joe. Uh, none of it really seems to uh, fit with really the reality of what Americans are dealing with day to day. Now, Joe Biden's policies have been wrong for America and for working people. If you think about it, the inflation that average people are facing right now, everything costs more. And when it comes to those auto jobs, I mean, the Biden administration has pumped, you know, billions of dollars uh, into the economy and subsidized electric vehicles. And that obviously has an impact on the current jobs that support those auto workers. And I know they're concerned about it, but we need a change. Um, you know, we can't have President Biden serve another term because we continue to face inflation, the open borders. Uh, the economy is not doing what it should be doing if we had different policies that focus on economic freedom. What do you think the biggest issue is facing folks in New Hampshire? As I just mentioned, you know, a lot of the candidates have been spending time there and you're really on the ground. What do you think the GOP uh, should be focusing on there? Winning. I think the most important thing is that we ensure that we don't have Joe Biden in the presidency, uh, that we focus on economic prosperity and freedom and securing our borders. And I know those are the questions that New Hampshire voters are asking about every single day. We have a very important role vetting the presidential candidates. 
Uh, but I know people in New Hampshire want to change. Kelly Ayotte, running for governor of New Hampshire. Thank you so much for joining us today to talk about these issues. Very important. Thanks, Bianca.